Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Has Electrical Issues. Mm, sad panda. So, if you watched the previous video, I'm ripping out the entire battery harness on the GTO because it won't start. So I'll show you the problem that I'm having and I'll show you how to check the fuses and the relays and all that fun stuff because I checked them all. Every fuse is good. Every relay is good. Doesn't necessarily mean it is, I guess, but we're gonna find out. But I narrowed the problem down to some sort of short or a ground. When the engine was out, the AC compressor was sitting on the harness for the alternator, the starter. So being that the cable is 20 years old and it's been heated up, cooled off, heated up, cooled off for 20 years, there's a chance that maybe some water got in there or something and it just caused it to erode because I'm getting a spark right on the negative terminal of the battery. So I may have to rebuild the whole thing, but first I'm gonna take it out and inspect it and see if we have any issues in there. But that's kind of where I'm narrowing it down to. So let me get the valve cover, the coils, the passenger side header, get that all removed so I have access to the starter and then go underneath the car and get the harness that goes to the alternator. There's a plug and a cable that have to come off and hopefully we'll get this whole harness taken out and we can inspect it and see what's going on in there. But first, let me show you what I did to check the fuses and all that, make sure they were all good. All right guys, to test the fuse, you get your little fuse out, there we go. And you got two little tabs there. Now I have it out so you could test on the the legs of it, but if you have it in the car, there's two little metal things there. And so I have an ohmmeter, I have it on continuity test, so put that there. So when you touch together, you hear the noise. Yay, cool. So what you wanna do is just go through the car, take those two little ends on there and just touch them here. That fuse is good. So I went through all the fuses in the car. I'll show you where they are. And I tested them all. They all came back good. So in theory, should be good. Now I'll show you another test that you could do on the relays. So it says open load right there. Which probably won't show up too well, but basically this one and this one, it's, uh, let's see, 85 and 86. Now, when you go across these two with this meter, you'll get a number here. I forget what the low number is that would make it bad, but basically you want it in like the 60s, 70s, maybe even 80. As you'll see, I will touch 85 to 86. And we're looking at about 64 ohms. So that tells me that's good. So let me put these back in the car real quick and I'll show you what else I did. All right, so I jumped the starter relay, which means I took the relay out and I put a wire into the fuse panel to try and jump the starter in case, just in case it was a bad few, uh, relay. But uh, there's an 87, which is this brass colored one, and a 30, which is right there on the outside. So the relay, which would normally go in like that, took a little piece of wire and just jumpered these two out. Now, if you have a bad relay and you know it's a bad relay, you could start it like this by using a wire. But that did not work because I got the same result as when I tried starting it with the key. Yeah, all these fuses, all these relays, even these guys were good. And I'll show you inside where I tested also. Okay, inside the car. So this whole panel drops and you got some fuses in there. Fuses and relays. All of them tested good too. So the relays are up top. Fuses are all down here. Yeah, all of them tested good. So let me hook the battery up and I'll let you listen and see what's going on. I'll get you two vantage points, one from inside the vehicle and I'll set the camera up looking at the battery. Maybe you can see it spark, it's pretty bright out. So maybe you will, maybe you won't, but you'll hear the click or the snap, whatever it is. I thought it was the starter engaging, but for some reason I think it's the negative wire terminal that's arcing, but we'll see in the video. So let me get the battery set up and we'll get at it. 
All right, guys, battery's hooked up. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the odometer's on. And I will prove to you that other things work when you put it in the accessory position. So my gauges are all lighting up. My radio's gonna be all staticky probably. I got check engine light, got all that stuff. Very low fuel apparently. And my windows work. So now's where the fun begins. Let's see if you can look in there. I'm stepping on the clutch paddle. Yeah, there's no coolant, shut up. So now I'm gonna turn the key to start it. Why did that work? That's not supposed to happen. I don't know what happened, but something happened and it just worked. So, uh, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. Okay, everything's clear. The battery's hooked up. I didn't do anything to it. I don't know why it's deciding to work all of a sudden. Well, let's see if it does it again. All right, let's see what we got. I don't have the uh, coils hooked up, so. It's doing car things now. So, do I disturb the neighborhood now? <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch anything. I was just showing you guys what the problem was, and now it's working all of a sudden. I, this blows my mind. The only thing is I'm going to hook everything up, and it's not going to work. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it's definitely an issue I gotta look into. I'm dead serious, the whole car lost power and now it's just working fine after I just put everything together. I guess we're gonna go open header start and piss off the neighbors. <laughs> I'm only gonna let it run for a few seconds, so I just wanna hear it start, make sure everything's good. I mean, it cranked over a couple times, you guys heard it, so no valves are hitting, winning. So let's see if this thing fires up. Yesterday, my neighbors came home, had a sleeping baby, so I was gonna be nice. So next day, we're gonna fire this thing up. I adjusted the throttle body a little bit, so we should be good to go. So let's give it a try. Seemed to be a little happier, but at least we got our Open header start. Thank God for that. All right, guys, I uh, guess this concludes that video. I swear I had these electrical gremlins and they just magically disappeared. That's, I don't know, I really don't. I was thinking about rewiring the battery anyway, but then I was going through my parts up in the spare bedroom because that's where you keep spare parts. And I found my battery relocation kit, so I was like, why would I rewire this thing if I'm just going to move it to the trunk? So let me know what you guys think of where to put the battery. I was thinking about taking the spare tire out and placing it down there and just running a grommet and the two wires through. The negative I plan on running back to the front of the car along with the positive lead. So let me know what you think about that or if I should just stick it in the corner of the trunk, you know, save storage space, so to speak, or just delete the spare tire altogether and just place it right down there. It's a nice little valley. I'm sure I can come in through the side of it. And who knows? Let me know what you think. That's gonna come down the road sometime, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna start getting this thing roadworthy. So in the next video, I have my Mishimoto radiator. Probably gonna end up putting that in and some other little things that I gotta get done on it to get this thing running. And yeah, I just have a couple little odds and ends I gotta work with. I still gotta adjust the clutch a tiny bit more. I have a broken bolt in my differential bushing housing uh, because my torque wrench committed treason and lied to me and snapped the bolt, so I gotta extract that. Still gotta hook up the exhaust and all that fun stuff, so, you know. There's lots of stuff to do, 
But as I always do, I will keep you updated on issues I have and all that fun stuff and small victories like today. <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys for watching. Got a bunch more content coming. Like I got headlights to put in, but that's going to, I'm going to get this thing tuned and dynoed and situated with the alignment and the tires and all that stuff. And then I, like I said, I still got headlights. I still got oil cooler to install. I want to run this oil for a little bit, even though it's brand new oil. Uh, I want to run it for a little bit, get a little break in period going and then do an oil change, drain the oil, do the oil cooler, show you that from start to finish. And a couple other miscellaneous things that are going to go on. So thanks guys for watching. You know the deal, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Out.